Welcome back to another review. I have something a bit different in for testing today. This is the BC Master 1610 USB microphone, and this was sent in via the manufacturer for review. Now, I don't have massive experience with audio, but I do my videos on YouTube and I need to record audio, so I'll pass on some of my thoughts with the microphone. Now, included in the hard case, quite a nice quality one. Apart from the microphone itself, obviously we have the windscreen, which is foam, fit over the top. We have a bracket with the microphone screws into that and we have a stand. It's a pretty compact setup. There's the USB cable onto the microphone. Feels very solid. Metal on the casing. We have a low pass filter switch here. This will cut out frequencies below 100 hertz so it should avoid rumble. And we also have on the other side the minus 10 decibels. So if you have an instrument or you're right up close to the mic and you need an instant lower recording, then you can flick that switch. The cable length on this is 1.8 meters and it's using a type B to type A connector. That's exactly the same as you find on a printer or a scanner. So it's relatively common. I assume they're using that for durability. It's pretty hard to break those connectors. Micro USB probably wouldn't have been a good idea. So I'll just screw this in. The threads on this are quite long, so it takes a while to fully screw it up. But once it's in place, you're not going to have any movement. So really this is aimed at someone who's doing audio recordings, like myself, uh, on a computer. I'll plug the stand in. Again, this is metal on the legs. have to turn it quite a bit on this as well. Threads are quite long and then the legs just lock out into place. There's no anti-shock included with this which shouldn't be a problem if you have it on a desk or in front of you. You can get additional sort of uh, boom arms that you can attach them to. And this is just for your reference really. This is the specs on the case. Cardoid microphones are more focused with their pickup rather than a directional microphone. This lists out the package contents. They're giving you a two year warranty on this. And I believe that this is supposed to be features rather than feather. So there's a bit of a typo that the company needs to have a look at. And a quick look at the user manual. This gives you an idea, an overview of the type of microphone there is and how to use it. And you'll see here the positioning, quite important. You need it to stand upright rather than facing towards you. Different types of microphones out there now when you connect this to a computer, this is a Windows 10 PC, you'll see the microphone come up in the recording devices and you'll need to adjust the levels on that. So what I'm going to do now is do some audio recordings with different microphones and you'll be able to hear the difference between them. In the summer of this year we made a journey to Transylvania and went over the old ground which was, and is, to us so full of vivid and terrible memories. It was almost impossible to believe that the things which we had seen with our own eyes and heard with our own ears were living truths. Every trace of all that had been was blotted out. The castle stood as before, reared high above a waste of desolation. In the summer of this year we made a journey to Transylvania and went over the old ground which was, and is, to us so full of vivid and terrible memories. It was almost impossible to believe that the things which we had seen with our own eyes and heard with our own ears were living truths. Every trace of all that had been was blotted out. The castle stood as before, reared high above a waste of desolation. In the summer of this year we made a journey to Transylvania and went over the old ground which was and is, to us, so full of vivid and terrible memories, it was almost impossible to believe that the things which we had seen with our own eyes and heard with our own ears were living truths. Every trace of all that had been was blotted out. The castle stood as before, reared high above a waste of desolation. In the summer of this year we made a journey to Transylvania went over the old ground which was, and is, to us so full of vivid and terrible memories. It was almost impossible to believe that the things which we had seen with our own eyes and heard with our own ears were living truths. 
every trace of all that had been was blotted out. The castle stood as before, reared high above a waste of desolation. With those recordings you should have noticed some quite significant differences. I will say that the headset microphone, whilst I just show the blue LED on screen that I use quite frequently, is definitely one of the better ones that I've used for a USB headset mic, but it's not going to have the depth that a real microphone has. It also requires quite a lot of noise reduction in post-processing, which brings me on to this software, which is audacity this is quite useful free software which you can get hold of it's open source i'm just giving you a heads up with uh, audio recording stuff and software that i've used myself i'd also point out that the lumia 950 actually has pretty good microphones for a smartphone so i haven't deliberately selected really bad mics but you can still clearly hear the difference the other software that I sometimes use is the voice meter um, banana that's pretty popular particularly if you're streaming live and this is a very simple and basic audio recording bit of software that I use it does have some nice features for example it can auto pause so it's worth looking at those my overall thoughts with this microphone the BC master is that it's better than the current microphone that I've been using it's also quite a nice price as well if you look at the overall package it's not a Shure or a Sennheiser or a Rode but all of those makers do offer USB microphones they're becoming quite a bit more popular because of tasks like this where you need to record audio on a computer so not too much to complain about would have liked to pop filter the um, phone windscreen does do the job but that would have been a nice option also wouldn't have minded if they moved the led position a little bit but overall definitely happy to give this one a thumbs up